my mother told me uh, little bits of anecdotes uh, that when her mother was in labor with, I think, her, the eighth of her nine children, uh, my mother went to some neighbor Polish gentleman and he uh, uh, rushed her to the center of the town or something or ran to get a, a, a midwife or something but did something and was yelling something in Polish, I can't remember it, but Shimshova is in labor and that was the moment that I learned that my maternal grandmother was called Shimshova that wasn't her name. Her name in Yiddish was uh, Brucha or Brucha Laya. And her husband's name was Shimshin. And Shimshova, I gather, means Shimshin's woman. And was, that was when I learned that's what my grandmother was called. When I went to visit my mother's town, the taxi driver who was serving as our interpreter asked somebody who is the oldest person who lives here and they said the crazy woman in that house and we went to meet the crazy woman who in certain ways seemed very crazy and was very hostile to other people who were around and poked somebody in the stomach with her cane for no apparent reason to us she was sweetness and charm and uh, she didn't recognize the names of my mother or wh whatever. And the taxi driver said, what was your grandfather's name? And I said, Shimshin. And he said, that's not a Polish name. And the woman at that point yelled out, Shimshova. And she had known my grandmother. And I immediately knew that my grandmother was Shimshova. And we were with my children, or we were with my daughter, Eve. And she looked at Eve and said she resembles Shrimshava. And you know, there's something of a family resemblance. So that came out of a, an anecdote my mother told me.